The pressure that you actually blast with can make a difference too. Higher pressures, you're not really gonna damage the part, but you may take it beyond the point that you can back it off. When somebody is asking about pressures for parts, I usually tell them start at a lower pressure and work your way up. It's easier to do it that way. If you start high and try to work down, it may create an issue with you. Aluminum oxide at high pressures will do more than a low pressure aluminum oxide, depending on what kind of finish you're looking for. So somewhere when you're setting your pressure gauge, probably about 40 PSI to start with, and you can actually take this up to 100 PSI if you need to, but it's better to actually blast the part at a lower pressure first and then start working your way up. And in the reverse side of that, if you're using a glass bead on aluminum, you can actually blast it at you know 40 to 80 PSI, and then you can turn this all the way down to zero and go back over the part. When you turn it back down to zero, you're basically running just off pump pressure, and that will actually help brighten up that part while you're finishing it.